Hi, this is Dave Nichols. I'm the training manager with HVAC Learning Solutions. And I'd like to spend a little time with you today and talk about load calculations. You know, load calculations are very, very important to our business when we're selling our customers new heating and cooling uh, equipment. We want to put a new comfort system in their home and we want to tell them that that equipment is going to do the job uh, that they're looking for, that their family is going to be comfortable and they're going to be safe and we're maybe going to save them a little bit of money in utility costs. Well, one of the interesting stats when it comes to load calculations is that the only one in seven visits to a customer a low calculation is performed. That leaves us an awful lot of opportunities to wow a customer, encourage them to do business with them. If in our instance, we go out and we do a low calculation on every single home, the customer will be impressed first off that we take the, the time and make the effort to do the job right and show them through the numbers exactly what the equipment is that they need, the sizing of equipment that they need. And we can explain to them all that goes into a low calculation, why it needs to be done, how it needs to be done, and how it's going to benefit them in the long run. All too often we find that a heating system is oversized and a cooling system is undersized simply because we've used rules of thumb. There's the rule of thumb where you take an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardboard and cut three holes in it. You stand on the uh, sidewalk and put it up, and if the house fits in one hole, then that's the size. Each of those holes represents one, two, and three ton systems. You might have a, a, a fourth hole with a four ton system in it, depending on your neighborhood. And of course, if it sort of fits in one, but not the other, it might be three and a half tons. Or how about the fingers? You know, you stand on the side of the road and you put your finger up in front of the house and if it's a one, uh, one ton, two ton, or a three ton house, uh, you know, we, we now have it sized properly. Or how about the rule of thumb by square footage? Where I come from, the rule of thumb was always one ton for every thousand square feet of house. The problem with rules of thumb is they might work for us and we might come very close to the right size, but we really haven't proved to the customer that we really know what we're doing and we're doing the right job. By using mathematics and measuring the house properly and using a, a qualified low calculation form, whether it's manual J or whether it's the form that service, uh, HVAC Learning Solutions offers you, uh, it needs to be done properly. We need to prove to the customer it's the right size and that the equipment is going to keep up on the hottest day of the year or the coldest day of the year. It's not going to short cycle. It's not going to run forever and drain the customer's bank account by using more energy than it really needs to. And that will allow us then to offer them staged equipment, two-stage or modulating, both heating and cooling. And that way we can heat their house or cool their house on those moderate days and keep them comfortable. And we know that the equipment is going to do the job when on the hottest day or the coldest day of the year. If you have any more questions about low calculations, we have several professionals in our organization who can help you train your equipment, your people on how to do low calculations. We have a low calculation spreadsheet that you can use on tablets or manually to, uh, for your salespeople to help uh, your customers choose and select the right equipment. Call us at HVAC Learning Solutions. Have a great day.